Hey everybody, it's Friday, time for Facebook Friday once again, and today we're doing fall projects. You guys know how I feel about fall. It is my favorite time of the year. Even though we really don't get fall down here in South Texas, <laughs> I still love it. Um, so we're gonna uh, play with a stamp set called Autumn to Remember. This is in our new scrapbooking brochure, as well as we're gonna look at the scrapbook kit and the paper. The paper's really, really cute. So I'm gonna show you all of that. We're gonna make uh, two cards and a tree holder. We're actually going to do, um, I'm gonna show you how to make a box of any size. We've done this before, and you guys always ask for uh, this video, so I thought it was time to freshen it up, do it again. I'm gonna show you how you can make a box for treats, um, you know, depending on whatever size they are. So we're gonna do that. Um, while we're waiting for everybody to jump on, I wanted to share some cards that I've gotten. Make sure I'm in the right place. I have a basket of cards that you guys have sent me, and I, ha I haven't shared them in a while. So, um, Michelle, I see your comment. So I thought I would show your, your cards that you've sent me. Let me see. <laughs> Blog post, yeah, it's up. It is up, Facebook Friday, Autumn to Remember. The real question is, is the PDF linked? Let's see, I'm gonna test it. I keep saying I'm gonna do, yeah, it's up. I keep saying I'm gonna do this before I go live and then I don't do it. Um, yeah, so everything is up. Okay, let me show you some things that I've gotten in the mail over the last probably about a month, okay? This one came in like this big special like padded envelope and I was like, what is this? And it was a very special card. Um, from, I believe it's Sharon. Yes, Sharon. And look, watch, look how it pops open and it's a 3D card. This blows my mind. I've seen this kind of card before and I have no idea how to make it. It is fabulous. Um, it says, sending sunshine your way. It's summer here again. We had fake fall on Monday and Sunday and now we're back to summer. Who knows when real fall will show up. And you know, when I say real fall, I mean like high of 89. <laughs> but anyway, sending sunshine, Sharon, this is a fabulous card. I'm gonna put it on my shelf, it's super cute. Thank you. And thank you for mailing it to me the way you did. That cost you more than a normal stamp. All right, this cute card is from Valerie. You guys, anything that uses gingham, I'm gonna love. But what I really loved about this card were the ducks, how she, uh, the color she used, I thought they were really good. When I played with this set, um, I was a little bit hesitant. I didn't know what colors to use for the ducks. So Valerie, perfect. I love it, looks really good with that pink gingham. Okay, now this card came from my friend Melody Hyde. She is the lead concept artist at Stampin' Up! And she sent me this card um, when I hit my two million a few weeks ago. And watch, when you open it up, it's these cute TVs, she made them pink. I mean, it's a very simple card, just one layer. She stamped the TVs and then she put this little double TV here. It is so stinking cute. When I say simple, Melody doesn't do anything that is just boring. Everything Melody does is fabulous. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. So thank you, Melody, I love it. Uh, this one's going in a very special place as well. All right, this one is from Lisa. Oh, and this was a sympathy card for when we lost Mac. Thank you, that's beautiful. Um, just the, all that green um, really is very pretty. I do love that Country Flowers stamp set. Um, this was cute. This one is from um, Sharon, uh, no, Kathy. And she changed, remember it said deal? She changed it, she masked it off and made it dill. I love it, you did it perfectly. Thank you, that's a really fun card too. I love a good pun. Don't you guys love a good pun? All right, um, this one is from Christina. Um, and it is that beautiful paper. Chris always sends me gorgeous cards, gorgeous cards. In fact, I got one today and it's sitting over there. I haven't opened it yet. I don't think I put them in here. I got a couple yesterday and I set them on the counter to open them. I don't think I did, so we'll save them for next time. This one is from Nicole, Celebrate You. Um, using the iconic celebrations bundle, the one that's online, you know, online only for something that's not holiday related. I love it when somebody's thinking outside of the normal box. Um, so very cute, Nicole, I love it. Thank you for the sweet message. Now this card is gorgeous over the top. 
Uh, let's see who it is from. Sally. This is from Sally. Look at that. You can't really see it, but there's like, I don't know, is it textured vellum? I mean, there's like layer upon layer upon layer here. And then, of course, her gorgeous coloring. So, so pretty. And it says grateful for you. Really, really nice. Black twine, I think, is a hidden gem. I love black twine. Um, this is from, let's see, sometimes I can't tell from the outside. Um, this is really cute. Oh, from Tony. Tony's always on here. Tony, look how cute. Pink and glimmer. I mean, I love it. What's not to love? Two million celebrate. And I am pretty impressed with how straight you got those letters. Those letters are not easy to um, glue down straight. So cute. Thank you, Tony. You have great handwriting too. You have like teacher handwriting, Tony. It reminds me of my mom, that beautiful scripty, scripty cursive. Mine's not good. My, my um, handwriting's not good. Angelique sent me, this is beautiful. Nothing is impossible with God. Isn't that beautiful? And that paper, I need to remember, I have a box to show you guys today that uses that paper. It's not today's projects, but it's, it was where today's project started. So um, remind me to show you. But anyway, this is a congratulations card. Thank you very much, Angelique. Beautiful. Again, pink. You guys know me so well. This one is really cool uh, from Donna. And Donna cut out, can you guys see how there's a circle there? She cut that out of the paper and then mounted it onto the same pattern paper. So it gives just kind of a very subtle, um, I, I could see in the video, it's not real clear. You guys can't see it, but it looks really cool. And then of course she put the little uh, pink party hat on the P, happy birthday. Thank you, Donna. My birthday's at the end of the month. It hasn't come yet, but don't you love it when your birthday lasts all month? I mean, us, us ladies, that's how we like to do it, right? All right, last one. Oh no, is it the last one? I do have one other thing. No, I have one other thing to show you. This is from Tony also. Tony, happy birthday again, pink and glimmer. And this was really cute when I opened it. This just swings so beautifully. And Tony, I was trying to look at your construction because it like is, I don't know, it's like a hidden, it's a hidden um, hinge in there somewhere. I like it. You guys probably can't tell, probably just whatever, but it like, it, it flips perfectly. Anyway, thanks Tony. Thank you. All right, let me show you one more thing. Um, my friend Judy, I was supposed to go to a thing in Utah in August and I ended up not going because, you know, life and kids and all that. And my friend Judy was going to be there. She was going to give me this there and I didn't get to see her. So she mailed it. Judy, you're so sweet. Um, Judy, this is a congratulations on your two million, her little card. But then look how cute this is. A little cactus, like, um, oh, koozie, like you, it's, I think it's for wine, right? You could put Diet Coke in it too. Um, but it's insulated, that's the word I'm looking for. It has little cactus and pink flowers on it. So super cute. Judy, that was very, very thoughtful. Um, that was very, very thoughtful of you. I appreciate it. Okay, now that I've shown you all of that, let me show you some other things. I'm gonna flip you guys around, okay? That way you don't have to look at me anymore. You can look down. Now I noticed last week, the quality of last week's video was awful. And I am guessing, okay, why am I having trouble here? I am guessing it was an internet issue. And I'm hoping this week we don't have that issue. If we do, I'm gonna have to call my internet people to get out here. Now the problem with the internet out here, you guys know, this is a, a separate building away from my house and the internet hub, whatever, you know, the panel, is as far from here as you can get. And so we've had to put boosters and I have a plug-in thing here, but the pool is connected to the internet here, the pool pumps, the security camera pump, uh, internet is connected, my TV, my computer. So I think that my little internet out here needs more juice. They may need to come out here and figure something else out. Anyway, that's why I feel like last week's uh, internet quality wasn't good. So hopefully I've disconnected everything today so let's see if that makes it a little bit better. Okay, let me tweak. Um, you guys, the Halloween class, potions and spells. Let me see, I can never remember which way. There we go, did it fix it? There's like a 10 second delay. So sometimes I do something and I have to wait. Okay, that's better. Potions and spells, Halloween class to go. Um, 
I have a certain limit of kits, certain number, I've already started working on them because this is such a quick turnaround. And we are about 75% sold on those kits. So I, I suspect that it's gonna sell out um, before the cutoff date. So if you want the Potions and Spells Halloween uh, Treats class, make sure you sign up sooner rather than later. It's six treats and it's gonna include this pack of paper, can never remember the name, Halloween Spells, and it's going to include the sticker sheet, and it's gonna include some ribbon and some dots. Um, you will need the um, Potions and Spells stamp sets. You can add that on, but the reason I didn't include that as one of the kit options is because most of you have this already. Those of you who love Halloween, like me, you already ordered it, okay? Um, but you will need the stamps and dies. Of course, you could use something else. I'm sure you guys like me, you have Halloween sets, whatever. You can use whatever you want. But um, just know that if you need that, you can add it onto the kit and I will pay the tax and shipping for you, okay? So the Halloween potions and spells deadline, did I not write it on here? I didn't, it's coming up. I think it's next week, what, no? Next week? Um, where's my calendar? Oh my gosh, I can't see it. Um, yeah, I think it's next week because I need to get these shipped the following week, hopefully. So if you guys want this class to go, I sent, I sent it out in an email. I haven't done it this week. I did it last week. Or you can email me for that link. I can't list the link on social media or my blog per Stampin' Up! Policy. You have to email me and just say, please send me the link so I can register for the Halloween Treats class. Okay? Um, included are six treat packages. Um, this one holds the double Snicker pumpkin. This one holds some Kit Kat witches. This one, I can't remember what this holds. I can't remember. <laughs> Two Hostess cupcakes. It says there on the description of the class and then one of the little books too. Um, so anyway, if you like to make Halloween treats, make sure you register. I've already started working on getting that class prepped. So, because I am worried about getting everything done before I leave. Okay, Club Create for October is the Snowy Wonder Club Create Kit. It is four cards in a gift card holder. It will include about $25 in product. It, um, my camera angle is super weird today. It um, includes PDF and a video. That, By the way, the Halloween class is just a PDF. There's no video on that. Let's see if I can zoom out. I tried to adjust the camera higher, but I guess I didn't. Anyway, um, the... This, so this is October's kit. If you subscribe now, you'll get October's kit will be your first kit. Um, if you stay, if you subscribe for six months in a row, you get a $25 bonus from me, a product credit, okay? Um, what else do I wanna say? It comes like this. The $45 includes, like I said, the five projects, about $25 in product, shipping, video, and PDF, okay? Um, PDF and video only options, if you want that, that is in my PDF store right now. It is an immediate download for those of you that are ready to get started on your um, Christmas stuff. Uh, the, this month's Unbound, Unbounded Beauty All-Star Tutorial PDF, um, you can earn this by spending $50 with me this month. Uh, I haven't emailed them out. I think I did it last week. I have to check. I need to do it this week. Um, when you shop with me, you get a PDF for free if your order is over $50. Almost said $500. $50. If your order is over $50, um, it's 12 video tutorials all featuring the Unbounded Beauty bundle from the annual catalog. And I am just one of the designers. You get access to 12 different designers' projects, which is really fun. And we did a blog hop yesterday, day before yesterday. Um, where you get a bonus project too on everybody's blog post. So if you love the Unbounded Beauty suite, make sure you go over there and check it out. All right, next thing I wanna tell you is paper shares. Um, you guys, paper shares are the last thing on my list this month, so they will not ship until the very, very end of September. My goal is September 30th. Um, paper shares, you get a little bit of every of every one of the new papers in the holiday catalog. You can get it at 12 by 12. You can get them six by 12, or if you want just a little bit, you can get six by six. And they each come in these little like plastic envelope things. Um, the prices are on my blog post. 
Um, shipping is different for each one because they each are going to weigh different amounts. Um, if you want in on that, make sure you email me for that registration link as well. All right. That is that. Now, have you guys checked out the scrapbooking products? We talked about it last week. Remember, the scrapbooking brochure is not a physical brochure. It's just a PDF. Um, I will have it linked in today's description. I believe I linked it on the top of today's blog post as well. Um, Stampin' Up! has started these new scrapbook kits. And um, there's new packs of 12 by 12 cardstock as well. They're two-tone. We're going to look a little bit at that today as well. Um, we have a couple of Christmas kits. There's a Halloween kit. And I'm getting ready to show you the autumn kit. Uh, you can get the kit that has all the pieces to make the scrapbook pages. It has embellishments. It has extra paper in it. It has some 12 by 12 cardstock in it. Or you can buy just the pack of paper by itself with the sticker sheet. Um, and then you can just order the paper too. If you just want the paper, you can do that as well. All right, I think I got that right this time. Um, today we're using the Autumn to Remember. Now, in some places I'm calling today's projects Autumn to Remember, and in other places I'm calling it whatever the paper is called. Um, what's it called? I can't remember. I can't remember. Everything today has the word Autumn in it. Let me look at my list. Um, Sweet Days of Autumn is what the paper's called. So here's the kit. The whole scrapbooking kit, which I'm going to show you, is $42. Um, you can buy the uh, designer series paper. No, that includes the designer series paper. Let me find that list where it shows the desi designer series paper. There's a page on here. You can buy the, the just the paper and the sticker sheet for $17. You can buy just the 12 by 12 paper for $12.50. The stamp set that we're going to use, Autumn to Remember, is $24. Um, and then the 12 by 12 two-tone cardstock is $12. All right, so we're gonna, let me just show you that now. Actually, no, I'm gonna get to that in a sec. Let's do everything else before we get to the meat and potatoes of today. Um, if you guys haven't joined me before for Facebook Friday, thanks for joining me. Hi, Mary Ellen from Montana. My husband is taking me to Yellowstone for my birthday this year, you guys. I hope, I hope it's beautiful up there. I bet it's much more beautiful right now than it is here. Although I'm kind of this year not mad about the hot weather because of the pool. I want to be able to use the pool as long as I can, right? I bet up there you guys are already wearing jackets and stuff. Has, have the leaves started falling? All my friends up north, my Minnesota friends, my Michigan friends, you guys, are the leaves changing? I actually noticed today when I went to the grocery store that there's just a tiny bit of color here. Teeny tiny bit of color our crepe myrtles are starting to turn a little bit, so which seems really early here. Usually our leaves don't change colors till like after Thanksgiving, which is a lot later than you guys. All right, make sure you hop over to pinkbuckaroo.com to get today's PDF. Leaves are changing in Colorado. Susan, my husband and I went to um, Estes Park for my birthday one year, a few years ago, and the leaves there in Colorado this time of year were amazing, amazing. Um, those aspen trees, right? It's the aspen trees that turn that bright yellow. Oh, so pretty. Um, the PDF today has all the pro products that I'm gonna use as well as the measurements and then uh, links to those things that I just talked about. There's also a host code up here. If you want the projects that I do today, if you want them for free, I will send them to you for free. They look like this, they come in the mail. I cut them on Tuesday, ship them on Wednesday. The only thing you have to do is put in an order that is over $35 between Monday, between now and Monday at midnight. You can order anything you want um, as long as the order is over $35 before shipping and tax. I will send you your little make and take kit, all right? And you will need the stamps. Now, normally I just use one set of stamps, but today I use three sets of stamps. But you can always substitute if you don't have the stamps that I'm using. Your leaves are changing. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so jealous. Ooh, Oregon, Teresa, I bet Oregon is beautiful right now. Um, oh, Brittany, you're not far from Yellowstone and they aren't changing yet. That's interesting. Why is that? 
because that's much further north, isn't it? Interesting. Golden, Colorado. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Parts of Wyoming are on fire. Is that close to Yellowstone? It is, right, Rhonda? We're flying into... <sighs> what are the cities around Yellowstone? It's one of the ones that you know. Uh, I can't remember. I think it is Wyoming. That makes me so sad. I don't want it to be smoky, but what are you going to do, right? All right. The last thing I'm going to tell you today before we get started is... If you share today's video, I will enter you into a drawing for a prize. Now, guys, I couldn't find the prize that I had last week. Did I not have a prize last week? I looked. I usually put it right here in my cart, and there's no prize in there. So, Denise, I picked you, and I just picked a bundle out of my stash of prizes. So, Denise, if there was something last week, and I, I even went back to the video and looked and didn't see it then let me know. But otherwise, Denise, I'm sending you the flower cart bundle. Thank you for sharing my video. I really appreciate it. Next week, I'm going to give away something from the new holiday catalog, the Reindeer Fun bundle. This is so cute. I'm going to use Reindeer Fun for my retreat to go this year. It's the cutest. I always pick something super cute for the retreat. It's really cute. So anyway, if you'd like to win Reindeer Fun, all you have to do is share the video on Facebook or YouTube. Okay. Now, let me show you the scrapbook kit, okay? We looked at it there in that scrapbooking brochure. I pulled it out yesterday, and I've never done a scrapbooking kit. I was a scrapbooker for many, many, many years before I started stamping up and doing cards and stuff. Um, but let me tell you, I haven't scrapbooked in many years. So it was almost intimidated, like I don't remember how to do this. Um, but this was a really good way to get started. It has this, each kit comes with this little, what do you call it, this little booklet. And it tells you how to cut each of your pieces, exactly how to cut them. So you go through and you cut your pieces. And then it shows you each page. And it tells you, you know, first do this, second. I mean, it takes all the guesswork out of it. Super easy. <coughs> um... I was a kind of a mess and I was trying to rush and get it done fast. So I feel like if I had taken my time and been organized, it wouldn't have taken me. It took me an hour to put all six pages together, um, which I don't feel like was that long. Um, but it was really fun and they're so cute. So let me show you the pages. Um, they There's three two-page spreads. You know, like when you put pages in your scrapbook, is you want the pages to coordinate on either side. You guys, before I moved, I had piles of scrapbook pages, hundreds of scrapbook pages that had not been put into albums. So I ordered like eight scrapbook albums off of Amazon and spent hours putting them all into albums before I moved. That is a lot of work. Don't do that. Make sure you put your scrapbook pages in albums. <laughs> but anyway, um, I was I had I struggled because I didn't always have two pages that coordinated to put them, you know, like this. But really cute, really really cute. Um, this one has that light uh, petal pink cardstock, and I I really like it. Look at these little stripey pieces. Um, mostly they're just die cuts that you punch out or stickers. And there's a sticker sheet. And then you have a lot of stuff left over too after you're done with the scrapbook pages. All right, so, and they, they're these wooden stickers. Can you guys see those little wooden stickers? And I'm not, they're not stickers, you have to glue them, but they're wooden die cuts. That's the word I'm looking for. But very cute, I, my husband is returning today from his hunting extravaganza up in Colorado. So maybe I'll put some of his pictures on maybe happy days, That's, that says happy days. That would be cute for him. I was thinking this one over here would be cute too. Um, he's got some good pictures from up there in the mountains. He did not get an elk, by the way. His, the guy he was with did, so they were all excited. Um, but then after that, that was it. But you know, they love it. They don't care, they have fun. Um, so here's what I have left. This Look, I've got all these wooden pieces left, lots of stickers left, so you can keep making scrapbook pages comes with this paper. Let me show you the paper. Uh, this one has the leaves and then the animals, and the animals is my favorite for sure. Um, let's see if I have whole pieces to show you. This one has um, 
a little like old olive and Cajun craze. And then do I have another? No, the one that's my favorite is this piece right here. Well, no, maybe that one was my favorite. I don't know, I can't decide. A grid, I always love a grid paper. And then on the back is this cool early espresso piece it has like triangle, which I'm guessing are trees. So there's some other pieces that it came with some backing pieces, the, the cardstock. So you use those to make your pages, but then you can order this two-tone cardstock pack and it's the same paper that you used there for your scrapbook pages. So you could continue to make more um, pages that coordinate. So can you guys tell the difference? Um, the two-tone cardstock, it's the Stampin' Up! colors, but there, maybe you can see the difference there. But it's one side is light and one side is dark. Yeah, you can see it there. Um, the colors are really, really neat. Um, the cardstock is not Stampin' Up! typical cardstock weight. It's kind of somewhere in between pattern paper and cardstock. It's like a heavy pattern paper, that's what I would say. Um, so the, the cardstock is completely different. Um, but again, you can just buy this pack of paper if you're not wanting to scrapbook. I know some of us are like, you know what? No more scrapbooking for me, but we want to make cards and stuff. And so then it has the same patterns. I think you get four each of three different designs. And you can get the paper by itself like this, or you can get it to, with that cute little sticker sheet. Okay, so that is what we're using today. I'll post pictures of the scrapbook page, and I made a little bonus card, which I'm not real happy with, but I'm just gonna go with it. Um, you can see the two-tone cardstock right here, that um, darker Cajun craze with the lighter there, um, and that's one of those wooden stickers. Um, so anyway, I'll post that on Monday if you guys wanna take a closer look at that. But for right now, let's do what we always do and make some cards and a, a treat box. If you guys missed in the beginning, the treat box, I'm gonna show you how to make your own treat box in any size. We've done this before, we're gonna do it again, all right? Okay, let me get all my goodies out. We're using everybody's favorite colors today, Cajun Craze and Crushed Curry. I know, I say that sarcastically because many of you hate those colors. But I mean, how can you make a fall card without Cajun Craze and Crushed Curry? They're the perfect fall colors, you guys. I love them. I don't have a problem with them. Yeah, Kimberly, you could use a 12 by 12 frame if you aren't a scrapbooker, that's true. And in my old studio, and I do still have one up there, I had several um, 12 by 12 pages framed. It's, you know, sometimes when you make a scrapbook page and it's like super awesome, you're like, this is so cute, you have to frame it. And I do have one of my husband up there when he was a little boy, it's really cute. Okay, so for this card, we're actually using three stamp sets. Autumn to remember, we're gonna use just this leaf right here for, for this card. We're gonna use Autumn Expressions, which was out of stock, guys, and now it's back. Lisa, I loved More Mustard too. More Mustard was a really good one. Um, we're gonna just use Grateful For You, and then this one right here, May the Beauty of the Season Fill Your Heart With Joy. And then this one is from last year. We did a Club Create kit with this last year, the Autumn Leaves Bundle. A really good one, it has these great leaf dies, um, and we're gonna use the leaves, the, these two leaves. We're gonna use that stamp set for the third project, okay? And let me show you the card. It's a card on a card, right? It has a mini card, and look, right there is a sentiment. We're gonna emboss with that copper embossing powder. And then on the inside, there's that, um, that leaf stamp from Autumn to Remember. It's that uh, distinctive stamp where it's flat, but it gives you a lot of um, depth and texture on your stamp, which is like a special technology. Stampin' Up! has des designed, they've come up with these really cool ways to make stamps like that. All right, let's see. We're gonna start with our stamping, of course. So let's do that. Have you guys had a good week? Um, we've had a good week. H husband has been out of town. He'll be home this afternoon. He's been gone for a week. Um, you know, we survived. We're fine. <laughs> I was very, I had was filled with anxiety last week about it. And my daughter drove up to Waco by herself. Then my, she and my other daughter drove to Dallas together. They went to a concert, made it back. Everyone was safe. Everything was good. I can stop my worrying now that everybody's home. Lisa, you had a long week. Yeah, I hate weeks like that. 
All right, this is that um, crushed curry. I'm gonna use this, this image for the veining of the leaf right there um, in early espresso. And then let's stamp the sentiment. Remember the sentiment is from Autumn Expressions. Look how gorgeous this font is. Change can be beautiful. All right, and I stamped it crooked, so let's try again. Let's try again. That's why cardstock has two sides. There we go. All right, we're gonna emboss that piece. We'll do that in a little while. Um, okay, the other thing that we're gonna do before we bring our cut and emboss machine over, we're going to cut out the big leaf from pecan pie. And we're gonna put this vein, this veining uh, shape die cut on top of it. And you guys know, I'm very messy with the glue, so I like to use my adhesive sheets for things like this. So, you know, you can tell that I cut my adhesive sheets and use all the pieces I can possibly use. Well, I just stuck that down. It's gonna, we're gonna need to trim that a little bit. Um, we don't need it for the big leaf, so I really only need it, let's see, we're gonna go over a little bit like this too. The big leaf's gonna have some adhesive on the back, and that's okay. We're gonna actually put a dimensional on it so it doesn't need the adhesive, but it's not gonna hurt it either. All right, cut and emboss machine. We are gonna, let's do these two first. My, my comments will not stay up. I can't see what you guys are saying. Um, Katie says, I'm not a scrapbooker, but these kits are making me interested. The kits are really interesting, Katie. I am, I'm not really a scrapbooker anymore. Um, and I'm not really a kit person either, but I really like these. Um, that you don't have to make the scrapbook pages. They have all these pieces and paper and, you know, um, they're really neat. They really are pretty cool. All right, we got that. Let's cut this one out now. And run that through. There we go. Move that out of the way for a little while. You guys, yesterday I recorded, I told y'all I got a new camera to record videos and I love it except <laughs> yesterday I recorded all three of my videos really easy everything was fine sometimes when I record videos I have to stop I have to fix something something's not right I forgot like all three of them got them done really easily and then I went to upload them and edit them and they had no sound and they were all in slow motion <laughs> so apparently I had um hit some kind of button on there to record everything in slow motion. So I was so mad. It's like, I didn't want to re-record them. See how I peeled that off with my take your pick tool. Be very careful because it's very delicate. So I ended up re-recording one of them, but the other two I did like a voiceover. So if you watch them, just know if my voice doesn't match my hands on those, that's why. <laughs> I was so mad. This week I had worked and worked and worked and worked trying to get everything ready, club kits. Um, my team is doing something this weekend. I need to get those kits ready. My team meetings on Monday, uh, in color club, Halloween class, all of these things. And it was like the one time I really needed everything to just go smoothly. And of course, it took me twice as long. But you know what, lesson learned. Make sure next time I don't record in slow motion. Okay, now I could fix the slow motion, but I couldn't fix the no recording voice without completely re-recording the voice. At least I just use iMovie, that's on my computer. All right, here's the cutest print, the little animals. We've got a um, four and a, no, yes, no, five and a half by eight and a half inch early espresso card base. We're gonna put that four by five and a fourth inch piece. Here is our, um, Cajun Craze two-tone cardstock. Here's the other side. I wanted to show you the difference. You know what? I'm going to turn that light over so you guys can see better. And then um, we're going to, so one side is dark and one side is light. You can decide. I think I like the dark side out. So I'm going to put this little card 
here on the front like that. Measurements for this are on today's PDF. Here's the little designer series paper we'll put there. And then for the end side, let's see, I don't have my grid paper, so we'll just use this. We're gonna stamp with that really cool um, leaf that I was saying is that distinctive texture. We're gonna use Cajun Craze. And this piece goes for the end side of the larger card, like your leaves are falling down. So change them as you stamp them so they're not identical. We'll do one there and one like that. And then let's do one kind of over here like that. Okay, close this up. Put the larger, this is very vanilla also. I'm using very vanilla this week. Oh no, look at that. Okay, well, you know what? That just means we'll have to put another leaf there. There we go. So now my message is gonna be really small. <laughs> Sorry, whoever I send this to. There we go. And this one's gonna go on the inside right here. Now, we need to emboss our sentiment. So let's get this embossing additions kit over here. Uh, this little label, this little tag, early espresso, and it's um, cut with the unbounded love dies. Is it unbounded love or is it unbounded beauty? I can never remember. Paper is called one thing and the stamp and dies are called something else, but it's on the supply list. In the stamp set, this is back to the, I have to look every time, Autumn Expressions stamp set, Versamark, and then we'll do Copper Embossing Powder. I did this for a card a couple of weeks ago, Copper on Early Espresso cardstock is gorgeous. All right, so, you can't, you can't really see it right now, but you're gonna see it in just a sec. Let me uh, close this up, get all of this, just throw this all back in here for later. Heat tool somewhere hiding down here. And let's heat it up. The embossing additions kit I did not put on the supply list, but if you search the website, you'll find it, embossing additions kit. Look at that. The embossing additions kit, uh oh, hold on. Comes with these reverse tweezers. So you don't burn your fingertips off. Okay, isn't that pretty? So pretty. All right, dimensionals. Now, if you wanted to turn this into a gift card, what you could do is just put your dimensional down low and then put this like this down here and then you could slide the gift card under there. Okay, there's that. Now let's put our big leaf. Where's my dimensional backing bowl? Let's get that right here. All right, and we'll put that here. Don't put this too far up. I did that at first, because then when you open it, that, that tip bumps into the card. So make sure it's kind of down low or, you know, doesn't go too far past the edge of the smaller card. All right, hi, Danette. Thanks, Patricia, for sharing. I appreciate that. Dimensionals, dimensionals. Okay, now, get your center pecan, center striped ribbon. And we're gonna have it just coming out from underneath this corner right here. And I'm just gonna make a little loop. This is another, just another way you can use your ribbon on a card. So make a little loop like that, and then get your scotch tape and just tape it on like that. So then it's just kind of peeking out down there like that. And again, we'll do two dimensionals. like that and we'll put that let's see we need to raise this guy up let's move him over a little bit like that and put 
that. No, he's still not high enough, is he? There we go. There we go. All right, I think that's good. All right, so we've got the leaves under there. And how about a little linen thread bow? Hey, guys, I last week I had the wrong host code on the video. I apologize for that. If that ever happens, just place your place your order and then email me that you didn't use a host code or that you use some another host code. It's fine. It's okay. Because I do that sometimes. I have two computers I'm working from, so sometimes I have a host code. I have a little post-it note saved on my desktop where I put um, these, these little details, and sometimes I don't update it on one computer. That's what happened. All right, and there you go. Change can be beautiful. May the beauty of the season fill your heart with joy. Pretty. That's kind of a special card, don't you think? I think it is. All right, <laughs> I hope you guys like that one. Let me clean up and we're gonna make a box. Thanks for sharing, I appreciate it. I'm kind of thirsty. All right, let's get everything cleaned up. And you guys, I went to the grocery store today. I had to pick up a prescription, but I went in to check out the pumpkin situation. They had lots of pumpkins and they were all 20% off. So my Texas friends go to HEB and get your pumpkins. They're 20% off. So now my porch is gonna have pumpkins. Of course, it's 100 degrees outside. They're probably all gonna rot, but whatever. I love pumpkins. Got to get them as soon as I can get them. All right, so let's talk about this box. Inside this box is a fall party cake, little Debbie. When I got them home, I was like, holy cow, they're huge. They're really, really big. I don't know, does it say new? It says big pack, six big cakes. I guess I missed that. They're really big. So I was like, okay, we got to design a special box for this because I don't have anything. I don't think I have anything that big. I made this box, here's that paper I was gonna show you that I can't remember what this paper is called. It's an online exclusive. And I made Facebook Friday projects with this stuff. Um, and then for whatever reason, I never used them. So this has just been sitting over there and I was like, let's make this box in the size of this huge fall party cake. So that's what we're gonna do, okay? Um, the first thing I'm gonna recommend, let's say you're gonna make a box for I don't know, something else that's not this size. And you are like, Erica, I need you to make a box. Well, I'm gonna show you how to make your own box. First thing I'm gonna recommend is that you get some grid paper, okay? Grid paper, I put on the supply list. It's a huge pack. You will, it will last you forever and you will love it because it's gonna protect your work surface. You're gonna make lists on it, but also it really helps you design and measure things that you need to make. It has a ruler on both sides and each of these little grid marks, each of the little squares is a quarter inch. On the back side is metric. So for my metric friends, it has metric on the back. Um, so the first thing you're gonna do is put your, whatever you're making, your cake, your cookie, whatever, down on your grid paper and draw the footprint of it, if you will. Okay, so I've already done that and it measures three and three fourths by five, four and a half. So basically, that's the size of my box, okay? Three and three fourths by four and a half. Now, we've got to decide how tall the box needs to be, right? It needs to be tall enough. We've got it big enough to fit, you know, the, the size, but how tall should the box be? Well, what I do is I set it down and I get a ruler and I get my marker, pencil, whatever, and I kind of take it like this. And I say, okay, that's about how tall it needs to be. And that is right at two inches, if you guys can see. Um, it could probably go down a little bit, but it's got a lot of air in that package, so I'm gonna leave a lot of room. So two inches. So that means I've gotta make a, a wall, right? On each side, that's two inches. All right, so now, <laughs> Lisa, I've heard of that too. Um, and I am sure, you know, we don't, we don't have a lot of pumpkins, but we. There is something that's eating my cactus that I planted, and I think it's rabbits. They ate all my cactus that I planted. Yes, we plant cactus, some of us do. Um, so we'll see if they eat my pumpkins. All right, so from each 
side, we need to add on two inches, okay? So I'm just gonna take my ruler and draw out to the two inch mark. Okay, so on this side, we're adding two inches on each side, okay? So two inches and two inches. Now we gotta do the same thing on the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna come down two inches and that means I'm gonna go all the way across, okay? And that means we've added two inches here. And then we'll add two inches up here at the top like this. All right, are you guys with me? So here's how you decide what size your paper needs to be. Up and down this way, okay? It's gonna be four plus two plus two plus half. Now, if you're bad at math and fractions, don't worry, the grid paper will help you. You can, if you use the, the line on the side, you can do that, but I always start in the middle. So if you take your ruler, you can see that that is eight and a half, okay? Um, and then we're gonna go this way, and this one is three and three fourths plus two plus two, which means that is three, four, five, six, seven, seven and three fourths. Okay, so our paper, we need to cut down to seven and three fourths by eight and a half. And we're gonna score it at two inches on all four sides. Are you guys with me? I know, math, you didn't know that there was gonna be like a math class today, did you? <laughs> Don't worry, it's not that hard. If I can do it, anybody can do it. I am not a mathematical person per se. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. Okay, so here's our paper. Again, remember seven and three fourths by eight and a half. And we're gonna just take our simply scored and do two inches on all four sides. Now you can use your stamp and trimmer to do this, but I really like the simply scored. And I'm gonna show you a trick to get the lid to go on um, easier. And you have to, the trick that I'm gonna show you only will work here on the simply scored. All right. Now, burnish those lines. One, two, three, four. Grab your scissors and cut off the corners from, from score line to score line. If you wanna come back later on and watch this again so you can do this, there will be, there is an individual video on this on YouTube. I uploaded it this morning and it'll show you the exact same things. And I, I think the clarity and the edited part of it will be a little bit better than, than here. So um, just know that that will be there for you. All right, and then snip. And then you're gonna take your liquid glue and put that on your four corners or four triangles. Got my clothes pens ready and you're gonna fold that up and into the side like that, okay? Now that we have a lot of 12 by 12 paper too, we can make even bigger boxes. You know, we have 12 by 12, but now we've got two tone 12 by 12, which would just really, I don't know, make things inter interesting. All right, so we've done that. Now we've got to do the lid. And I did mine backwards, so the lid is gonna be pecan pie. I should show you this one. So this is what this is what we're making right here, okay? So here's the bottom. Now, the, the top is gonna to come down over, and you gotta decide how far down you want it to go. Usually, I just do about an inch or half or whatever. And I decided to do this one coming down an inch and a fourth, all right? So, here we are again with our instructions, okay? Again, our footprint, remember, is the same that we started with. This time, though, we're just gonna add one and a fourth on either side, okay? One and a fourth, one and a fourth. Whoops, what happened over here? I just drew on the ruler instead of the paper. And then we're gonna draw those lines up. You'll get, if you do this a lot, you'll get to where you don't even need to, um, like you can just draw, kind of sketch it out without even using the, 
the ruler. But the ruler is really good in the beginning as you get used to kind of how these things work. All right, so one and a fourth, one and a fourth, one and a fourth. This one goes up also across. So now again with your math, four, five, six, half plus fourth and fourth is seven inches. And over here we have three, four, five, three and three fourths plus one fourth is one. So that's six and a fourth or use your ruler. Okay. So we've got to do seven inches this way and six and a fourth inches that way. And we're going to score it on all four sides at one and a fourth. So let me get my other piece of paper. One, oh, oh, wait a minute. Boop. Okay, rewind. Pretend I didn't make that score mark. Here's the, here's the tip on making your box a little bit bigger. If you do it like this, it's gonna be real tight and you can pinch it and get it to fit. If you do that, that's fine. But here's a better way. Get about six or seven post-it notes, okay? And put it on the left side of your Simply Scored. That's gonna give you just like a hair's width amount difference on each side, which is gonna make your lid just a tiny bit bigger than the bottom, which means it's gonna slide on perfectly. All right, so one and a fourth. Oops, ah, I messed up. One and a fourth, one and a fourth, and one and a fourth. Ignore my mistake, mistaken score line. I'm gonna pretend like it's not there. All right, again, do it exactly the same as you did. Burnish those lines, cut off the corners. Now, sometimes when I make a box, for whatever reason, maybe I'm watching Days of Our Lives and I'm not paying attention, I mess it up, and I it takes me like three or four tries to get it right. So if that happens to you, don't, don't be like, oh, I can't do this. Just keep trying, looking at your notes and make sure that your measurements, sometimes my math is off. Sometimes I've added wrong. Yeah, I know, it's shocking, right? Um, but sometimes that happens. So. Sometimes it takes three or four tries to get your box right, so don't give up. Just know even I do that. For the sake of time, I'm just gonna use Stamp and Seal so we don't really have to wait for it to dry. I would not use Stamp and Seal in this box normally. All right, fold in again to the sides, pinch, 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 like that. All right, so there's our box. Now, you need a piece of DSP to go on the top, so remember, the footprint is three and three fourths by four and a half. So just cut a piece of paper that is a quarter inch smaller on both sides. So it would be three and a half and four and a fourth. And I think mine isn't the right size. So we're gonna trim it down. Let's see, do I have my trimmer? Yes. So what did I say? Three and a half by four and a fourth. I hope that's right. I think I cut my paper, the footprint of the box. Let's see, it looks kind of small now. Oh, it is kind of small. Well, whatever, we're going with it. All right, put that on there. It still works, it just has a bigger border like that, okay? All right, now we're just gonna make a quick tag. All that work and you're, you're like, I'm tired. I wanna be done with this project. So let's just make a fast tag. This is the um, Greetings of the Season dies. And we're gonna stamp again using the Autumn to Remember stamp set, that Bountiful Blessings. We're gonna do that in Cajun Craze, right here, like that. And then, this time I'm gonna use Wild Wheat for the little leaf because we've got this new uh, wild wheat ribbon that is beautiful. So stamp a few times and then stamp off and add a few leaves that are just a little bit lighter. Okay, there we go. Bountiful blessings. Um, I also have these, this is my favorite embellishment. Well, okay, maybe the peppermints are my favorite, but this is my second favorite embellishment in the new catalog. 
these faux glass dots, really pretty. Perfect for fall projects. We'll just add maybe three. Okay, now let's get, where's my bowl of things? Oh, right here. All right, so put your cake in there and your lid should just slide on perfectly. Now, if your glue is not dry, be careful. See, ta-da, you guys can totally do this. Now, if you get the make and take kit from me, I'm just gonna send you these pieces, like for this size box, okay? Um, you can put whatever you want in here. It's a pretty big box, but it was designed to hold that uh, cake, fall cake. All right, wild wheat ribbon. Remember, wild wheat may look weird to you, like, mm, I'm not sure about that, but it is very golden, and it looks kind of like gold ribbon. Um, so don't count out wild wheat like I thought I was going to. It definitely has some good value. Very golden. All right, the greetings of the season tags, dies, already have a hole. So just tie that through there like that. Weird wheat. <laughs> Jean, that's a great, that's a great uh, suggestion. Weird wheat. It is weird because it, at first glance, you're like, hmm, I'm not sure about that. It's a kind of a yellow green. Um, but my downline Deanna brought something that very first team meeting after that color came out and she said, look, you gotta see this. It looks like gold. And she's totally right. It looks like gold. All right, there you go. So the original has early espresso on the top. And today, the one we made has early espresso on the bottom. There you go. Isn't that paper cute? I'm just really loving this autumn paper. So cute. Uh, Patricia, you're a fan of Wild Wheat? Yeah, I am too. I am too. I like it. Okay, let me clean up. We've got one more project. And this one is a fast one. It's actually a fun fold that's super easy. Super easy. Let me get it over here. I don't know what to call this card, so if you guys have a name for it, let me know. You guys, I have to tell you, you know the pumpkin spice box we made last week? We had a new groomer this week come to groom Pepper, and I was like, you know, I'm going to give this guy a treat, and I gave it to him. You should have seen his face. It was like I had given him $500 or something. He was so touched by it, and he was like, I can't wait to open it and see what's inside. So don't forget when you make these treats, give them to whoever. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Just make them and give them away. People get so excited. Okay, so this card is like this. Little card on the front and then a triangle side. What do you call this? Triangle side fold? I don't know, but it's easy. It's an easy one. Let me just show you how easy. You're gonna start with you're welcome, Terry. I try to do that little lesson, uh, you know, once a year or so, because I want you guys to know how easy it is. Really, you can make your own boxes. You really can. You really can. All right, this is five and a half by eight and a half. I've folded in half, regular card, right? We're gonna take this front and just cut it corner to corner. So take this score line and put it there in the gutter like that, and then twist it until this bottom point is in the gutter as well. And then just slice it off, okay? It is easy to me, Wendy, because I've done it so many times, and I think it will be easy for you if you do it too. You just gotta keep trying, keep doing it. Your brain will start to like process, like, okay, I get how this, this works, right? All right, now we're gonna cut this piece for the front diagonally. And if I cut it this way, then it won't be right. So I have to look and make sure I cut it right. So I'm gonna cut it from the top left to the bottom right. And this piece is just four by five and a fourth. And when you cut it, you're gonna actually end up with two. So now you've gotta make two cards because what are you gonna do <laughs> with that piece? You gotta, you gotta just make two cards. All right, so let's, Put that on the front and we'll put this piece this uh, 
old olive piece on the inside like that. Four by five and a fourth also. Then I've got a little mini card, another mini card. Um, this one measures, let me look at my notes. This one is uh, three by four and a fourth. So it's three by eight and a half folded in half. And we're gonna center it. And one thing I did with this one is I put it a little bit too close to this. It has kind of a hard time closing. This one, this one I have stuck down because I was taking pictures, but this one is a little bit higher and it actually opens up a little bit easier. So I'm gonna make sure I don't make that mistake again. I'm gonna center it like this. See how I've got that on the inside? You could just open that and center it, but I really like to have it closed to see what it looks like. Okay, like that. Okay, all right. I've got a piece of very vanilla that's gonna go on the inside. Again, I'm using Autumn to Remember. I'm using this image right here. And we're gonna use um, Early Espresso on that side. And we will put that on the inside. All right, and then now is the tough decision. You've gotta decide, do you wanna use the trees or do you wanna use the animals? I decided to use the trees because I'm gonna use the tree stamp as well, okay? So put that right there. Open that, close, close. I have a Spotlight on Nature, very vanilla circle. And I'm gonna stamp the leaf or the trees in cage and craze. Oh, Clippy, that's terrible about your kitty. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, I'm good. I'm glad I could give you a distraction. That is terrible. Is it another animal? Awful. All right, and then the sentiment is from the autumn leaves stamp set. So stamp that above an early espresso. And then we're gonna get our dimensionals. Look, I only have one left. And I'm gonna put it on, oops, nope, I'm gonna put it on the right side because I'm gonna have it just kind of hanging off a little bit like that. Okay, we're using this, the pecan center stripe ribbon again. Let's see, do I have enough to make a little tiny bow? I think I do. Next week, guys, we're gonna do Halloween, the little ghost can't remember what the name of it is and I haven't designed the projects yet but that's what we're gonna do okay I am just so usually I have all this stuff designed a week ahead of time and I just this week cannot there's just too much going on too much but I will have it by next week where did my glue dots go here they are we live in the boonies we're sure it was something wild too messed up to be another kitty oh no maybe like a coyote do you have coyotes in your area Oh, so awful. Well, I hope your kitty is okay. All right, put that there. And then these Earth Tone Shimmer Dots. We'll use these. I don't know what color this is, but it's really pretty. So we'll add a few of these to the front. And then on the end side, yeah, definitely prayers for your kitty and for you. Well, that's very stressful. I'm glad I could give you something to be distracted with too. It's hard when our animals are sick. I know, Charlie is still hanging on, but I wanted him to hopefully hang on until Ted got home, because Ted is his, his person. He's been depressed this week since Ted's been gone, but his breathing's becoming very labored. I don't know. Okay, there it is. We got on a sad note again. Our pets mean a lot to us, don't they, guys? All right, there's your third card, you guys. I hope you liked it. That was easy, very uh, easy compared to the other things that we did. Let's look at all three of our projects. If Remember, if you want these as a make-and-take kit, what did we call it? A sit, see and send, a watch and send project? I will do that. All you have to do is put in an order by Monday at midnight. The order can be anything you want, but you will need to do your own stamping. I will send you paper, embellishments, ribbon, die cuts, the tags, but you'll need to do the leaves 
you'll need that bundle as well. Okay, you guys? Thanks so much for joining me. Make sure that you go visit my blog, um, get that free PDF, and let me know if you have any questions, you guys. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for joining me. Bye.